Hey, what's up and welcome to Freestyle Lives on Stereo with Latif and Angel, a new platform where we come together to discuss various topics regarding the freestyle music scene, where it's been, where it's at, and most important, where it's going. But we can't do it without you, the freestyle community. We encourage you to join in the discussion, ask questions, share with us your ideas and opinions, because together we believe that we can define this culture as it was meant to be. And not only enjoy it, but also benefit from the many opportunities it has to offer. If you're not already following us, please do so now so that you never miss an episode. Today's topic is freestyle music videos. Still important? Are they? What do you think? Um, they're not as important as they used to be because now, I mean, listen, if you have the opportunity to, to make a video, do it. I say do it. Exposure is exposure. But nowadays you can go live on Facebook, live on Instagram. Right. You have so but many before, ways. Before I go there, I forgot to, to, to ask, how you doing, babe? I'm doing awesome. How are you? Pretty good. So yesterday we had a little uh glitch with the system. Which is mm -hmm. which is which is uh it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Welcome welcome yeah. to technology and to a new plateau. Um, yes. I'm fine with it. We just uh, uh, we we might we do it again if we have to shut down. We shut down, and we just keep it going, keep it cute, right? Absolutely, absolutely. But it's it's good to finally hear you, nice and clear. Yeah, definitely. Um, do you remember when the when do you remember when music videos first hit? Yes, I do. I asked, you said I, mean, was, I, remember like, early... being, I remember being that kid that, you know, we had cable before anybody. We had HBO before anyone in my house. Okay. okay. So, so you were seeing. We had, MP, we had everything before anybody in my neighborhood. Oh. Okay. Okay. You know? So, so, so you were seeing, because I mean, I was, I didn't need cable. We were watching like VH1. VH1 didn't need cable. So you were, See, you were watching. No, like in the Bronx. In the Bronx, you needed cable. Mm. Okay, I mean, I was in Queens, and we were like the right. last to get cable. We didn't need it; we had everything. No, like, not us. Cable was, yeah, okay. Well, but the videos were really big, you know, just regularly go to the video store. So we didn't right. really care about, you know, we really didn't. It was not a big deal. We got cable like way towards, you know, right before, right towards the end, you know. Uh, when, it, yeah. when it really got started to kick off, but uh, <coughs> but VH1 was a and and Video Music Box, like I love. Yeah, but Video, video. Music Box, Video Music Box was on regular TV. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. That's why I was able to watch that. That's not VH1 was, though. VH1. Oh right, right. VH1. Cable. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I wasn't watching VH1. I was watching no. Video Music Box. Video Music, right, right. right or right. Night Tracks okay. was on regular TV. That was Carlos de Jesus. Night Tracks right, was I remember. on regular yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember Night Tracks, too. I, I forgot it was uh, Carlos de Jesus. But huh. before all of that, they were putting out the rock videos. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, well, <clears throat> my first exposure... Up. My first exposure to videos like that was I used to go to a club called um, Black and Blues in Queens. Yeah. And it was a white, like almost like a punk rock kind of club. Right. And then <laughs> I, I used to hang out. I used to hang out with all these dudes that like, I had. My friends were Cuban, Colombian, Peruvian, Ecuadorian. <laughs> there was like wow. no, the whole no, spectrum. No the whole yeah, spectrum yeah, all the of whole, Latinos. The whole... Yeah, the whole Latin spectrum. That's how I grew up, you know, in Queen. When I moved to Queen, That's I remember awesome. when I left the Bronx. Yeah, when I left the Bronx, it was all black and Puerto Rican. I didn't even have white people in my neighborhood. And then when right. we went up to Queens, there was no Puerto Ricans. Georgie was actually the first Puerto Rican that I that I met that moved to the block. You know? So wait a minute, so, you were living there first before Georgie? Yeah, yeah, I moved there before Georgie. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And he All came right. like right after, not f well, a few years after. Well, now nah, I was already, I was already in junior high school when he, when Georgie came over, I was already in junior high school. He wasn't around okay. when I was in elementary school, but um, but yeah, I remember going <laughs> to Black and Blues, and I remember that's when the first time I seen like Billie Jean, which was huge. 
And I remember right. seeing the Eury Eurythmics, Eurythmics, Sweet Eurythmics, Dreams, yeah. Uh, yeah. And those yeah. were like the ones, that, and then and then the Weird Al, Weird Al was running with it too. Right. That's but crazy. before all of those, they were only playing rock videos. Before Michael Jackson, <laughs> before all of that. You oh, know? I probably don't remember though. I don't. I'm, I'm, right. I don't really so I'm saying those. at that time it was like, okay, it's cute, but you know. So let me, right. So it let basically, me ask you. So, did, I, I, I didn't feel included. I didn't feel included until I saw Michael Jackson's videos. Then right, I felt included. Right, yeah. Well, you know you what's know? so funny is I used, to, I used to be in the club, right, and everybody's dancing, and I used to be standing in front of the video screen, dancing, like dancing by myself while watching the videos. I can't with you. Every time I think you do. doing stuff like that, you freaking make fun. <laughs> Speaking of dancing like that, you told me the huh? craziest story about dancing with someone, and you didn't know who they were. Do you remember the story? Oh, Mary J. Blige. That is so crazy to me. How did you yeah. not know it was Mary J. Blige? It was, it was, the, it was the beginning of her career. Uh -huh. It was the beginning of her career. And if you remember her album, she had her face covered. She didn't uh -huh. show her eyes. So I really didn't know uh -huh. who she I really didn't know who she was. I found out That's after we started this. We danced for a long time. We're just on the floor, just like like we didn't pin it. It's just I was on the floor, she was on the floor. We ended up turning to each other. We just danced. And we danced for a long time. And then we, we said bye. And when she was leaving, I saw people kind of like, you know, rush her. And I was like, and I heard this girl next to me saying, oh, she has, that's Mary J. Blige. And me and Manny, I was with Manny Garcia. And he looked uh -huh. at me, he goes, yo, we you dance with Mary J. Blige on the side. I'm like, yo, I had no <laughs> idea, bro. That's that hysterical. Time, like, yeah, and I didn't go over there because she was already bum rushed. It's crazy that nobody messed with her wow. on the dance floor. She you could know? have been Mary J. Mikado. Yeah, no. Wow. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. <laughs> hey, um, no, no, I'm not you. saying you're not good. I'm just saying different circumstances. She could have been married. Jane Mercado. That's hysterical. Yeah. 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 Hey, That's so when you, so, so when you first got exposed to the videos, you say, what do you, what? 81, 82. Yeah. Very early on. I got exposed okay. very early on and it was basically all rock videos. Okay, Which was so cool. Really but like I said, yeah. I didn't feel included. Right, right. So I really didn't get turned on until like the Billy Jean. I think even off the wall, off the wall came in first. Yeah. Yeah, off the wall. So that's the one I remember because that was like a mall. He did like a video you get in the mall. Remember the mall videos with the background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love <laughs> so, those. I freaking love those mall videos, man. Yo, I like when I people do them now. I always wanted to do one of those. It's hysterical. Do you think you can make one of those for me? Yeah, of course I could. Oh yeah. my God, I want one so yeah. bad. I thought they were like the <laughs> coolest, funniest thing. So let me ask you, what was that first, what was that first, like, okay. <clears throat> Which was the first video that like, that was it. Like, that's when you acknowledged what this thing was. And now Definitely you knew Michael was Jackson's video. When Michael right, Jackson okay. came on. I was like, holy shit, this is it, man. And then it was, it was, <laughs> It was brought home also with Cindy Lauper and Madonna. Right, right. So you see, what, even with Michael Jackson, see, he was a visionary. He saw way ahead of time. Yeah. He saw how important that this could possibly be. You know? Right. Do you? Right. Yeah. Now, let me ask you something. Do you feel that it helped? I'm talking about in those days. We're talking about it's brand new. Because you know how sometimes we would hear a song on the radio, it's like, all right, and we don't really, we don't get the hype, like everybody's like, yeah, everybody's hyping. But then you see the video, and it kind of changes your perspective of it. Did no, I, ever... absolutely, I absolutely feel like it helped. Because, you yeah. know, not only, not only did the videos tell you the story of the song. Right. Um, you also got to see the artist. Because a lot of times, right. like you said, if it was a picture like Mary's, you didn't know who the artist was. Right. Get right. it? Now yeah. you knew who that artist was. You saw that yeah. artist anyway. You knew who they were. Yeah, and it was crazy. It was, because almost like, really... it was almost like now, it was almost like now the music artists were like, like, like um, movie artists. You know what I'm saying? Like movie stars. Act. Because right, remember, right. all you saw was movie stars back then. 
Yeah. Now you were yeah. starting to see the, the 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 singers. Right, right, right. Just as much as the movie stars, maybe yeah. even more. Because you remember you saw a movie star and they were basically in the movie and that was it. Right. right. The ones that you saw all the time were maybe the ones in the TV shows, the TV sitcoms. Uh -huh. You saw them yeah. all the time. But once those you know videos what's so crazy? Out, they were, and they were playing you know those videos were playing over and over. Those videos were playing yeah. over and over. Their faces locked into your subconscious. So yeah. you knew them. If you saw them, that was them. If you were in Manhattan and you saw somebody, and let me tell you something, my first one that I was like, oh my God, was Gloria Estefan. Oh, really? Gonga? She was crossing the street one way in Manhattan and I was crossing the street the other way. And I said, oh my oh, God. God. And she said, hi. And I said, hi. Oh my God, I love you. And we're like crossing the street. Oh, wow. Isn't wow. that funny? Yeah, that's crazy. But I knew you know who she so was funny that, with her video. You know what's so funny? Mm. Is that you know what's you know what's so funny? Do you know the first time I ever saw Lisa Lisa in person? Um, was crossing the street in Manhattan? That's funny. That's a Yeah, she was going one way and she was going yeah. I recognize the right way. I said, Hey Lisa. And she turns and said, Hi. She didn't realize, you know, a few years later I will be putting a ton of money in her pocket. <laughs> oh my god, right? Imagine <laughs> ice. She could have been Lisa Lisa Mercado. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you try to hook me up with people, man. No, no, I'm just hey. saying. Do you see how you, so, you ask, you know, you yeah. what? Was it was it six degrees of separation they call it some shit? Yeah, like it's crazy. <clears throat> it's crazy. Hey, so let me ask you this, because they, you were right. So a lot of videos, one of the things that they did was they expressed the story and they kind of made a song that made no freaking sense suddenly make sense. Um, and that's a very important marketing tactic that people need to realize. Whenever you can add something to your senses, you got five senses. Whenever yeah. you can add something to that sense, it mm -hmm. reinforces it in your, in your thing. So when people have a song and all they're doing is making music from it and that's it, they're only really touching one sense. Right. But when you right. do a music video, now you're touching two senses. So you're now occupying two different parts of the brain to grab right. this picture. You have the audio version right. that's going to hold it and you have the visual. Mm -hmm. So very mm -hmm. important. But now what about these videos? Do you remember the videos that the song said one thing and the freaking video absolutely made no sense? I'm sure I would remember if I thought about it, but right now, not off the... No. Do you? But you I'm saying, you remember I'm talking. I'm yeah, I don't... I, don't I mean, I you know there were videos anything. like that, but I can't think of yeah. one right now. Can you? Those were... Um, uh... Because you, you brought it up. Can you think so, of even you know one? So funny. No, hey, you want to hear something funny? Now that you said, because remember, you said the first ones you remember were rock videos, and I couldn't bring any to mind. I was like, I really don't remember. Yes, I do. Pink Floyd's, Pink Floyd's video. Which one? Remember? Um, we don't need no education. Yeah. Oh, but, um, remember? You remember? Yeah. Do you remember the video? Everybody. I do used not to remember the video. I not remember, I remember used the to get high. You had to get high to watch that video. That's hysterical. That's how you watch. Yeah, you have to smoke some weed before you watch that video, or, or it didn't well, work. Well, probably I didn't and get I mean, high, so so <laughs> I had to watch it. I had to watch it without getting you, high. That's why you didn't see it. You wasn't getting high. Exactly. Getting high, <laughs> that's why I don't remember it. <laughs> if you was getting high, that's you would have. Yeah, you would have been like, "Oh yeah, I love that video. That was my favorite." Yeah, video. yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember. The, I remember the videos that stuck to me, like with Madonna. Yeah, that, the video, yeah. the video that I was like, holy shit, was like a virgin. Yeah, well, Madonna's videos to me were very story oriented. Her, her right. videos pretty much depicted the story of the song. Yeah, but the one, the one that really said, "Wow, this bitch is gonna be a star," was to me was like a virgin. Oh yeah. When I saw oh, that, yeah. well, I was like, "That's it. That's well, it." Well, not only that, not only that, during that time. That was like that. That word was like what, what? Yeah, and then you know, it was yeah, a big deal. Was, was, it was a big a deal. Big and with um, <clears throat> with Cindy Lauper, it was girls just wanted her fun. Yeah, because yeah, she had exactly. Albano in it. Remember, he played yes. her father. Yeah, I thought yeah, that was yeah. so freaking cool. Because I'm a wrestling fan. I'm, I'm a, a boxing fan. I'm a wrestling fan. So uh -huh. to me, it was like, oh my god, that's crazy. You Look know, now that you mentioned him, 
Now that you mention him, you know, during the pandemic, I kind of took on his look, if you noticed. Oh, I can actually so put the rubber band. Uh, so I, can silly. Actually, I can actually put the rubber band <laughs> around my beard at this point. <laughs> I did it to you, remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I put a rubber band around the beard. But but you do you so do you remember a particular I I I, I want to think of one, but do you remember any song that let's say you pl it played on the radio, you knew it was a big deal, but it really didn't touch it didn't move you until you saw the video? Um not that, but the one that was crazy and moved me more when I saw the video, which moved me more when I saw the video mm -hmm. was I wonder if I take you home, Lisa Lisa. Because mm. I loved the song, but then when you when I visually saw her, I said, Oh my god, I can't believe this. Like she could have been a girl that lived in the projects right next door to me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm you saying? What... So yeah, that yeah, was yeah, incredible yeah, yeah. to me. <clears throat> I well, mean they had Gloria Estefan, but to me, Gloria Estefan reminded me of like the salsa singers. You know what I'm right. saying? Like I loved yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. She could have been, you know, one of the salsa singers. But right, Lisa right, right, right. looked down like she, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah. shit! Like she could have been Lisa right. from the third floor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was let's crazy talk. to me. That was let's like, this oh message. my god. Okay. Let me check this message real quick. Yeah. Hey, real quick. Anybody else who has any messages, please feel the, free to chime in. The discussion is about music videos and freestyle music. How important are they? Are they still important? Were they ever important? We want to hear what you guys have to say. And if you're not following us, please follow us. Okay, very nice. Hey, uh, clean heart, real quick, man. Uh, we have, uh, if you want to get in touch with us directly, uh, anybody who has any demos or you have anything you want us to hear, we got to do it on another platform. There's not the place, there's for discussion. So it's cool. Uh, it, over the phone, track doesn't sound, you know, it, it, you know, you rather, it's better that you send us an MP3. Don't do it through this this thing, but we appreciate that. Uh, anyway, hey, let me, so let me ask oh, you I this. wanted to bring up something. I wanted to bring up something. Yeah. <laughs> you talk yeah. about how important are the videos. Right. Now, I had noticed that Cynthia put out a video, and I thought it was really great. I loved it. Okay, okay. She put out a video, but what I realized was I don't remember her, remember Cynthia ever having any videos. Right. So well, I, think I, think this her, I think this was her first video ever, and she put it out recently. But did she do it to a new song or to a, uh, an, uh, one of the classics? One of the classics. Okay. I thought that yeah, was you so know what? I'm, awesome. Yeah, I'm I not, thought I'm that not was against, so freaking awesome. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm not against that either because there's a lot of people that, you know, now they have the technology, they can go and and uh, if you don't have videos to your songs, you might want to get creative. It might kind of, uh, and sometimes, you know, like if you put it out right away, you put it out to like a classic song, uh, people, you know, you're going to put it out there. People are going to say shit. They're going to, oh, you put a video, but that's cool. Do it. I think it's a great move. I thought you know, that was if, great. I thought that was so freaking great because I yeah, thought about yeah. it. I said, wow, I don't think she has any videos. Right, so right. So this no, was a great so. idea for her to take her classic yeah, song and make a video for it. Yeah, I think Johnny O did one also. I think Johnny I, I did didn't it. see that. I saw Cynthia. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. So I think that's a good move. Anybody who, who, who plans to do it. Let me ask you something. So the first video that you ever did, was for show me yes so let me let, let's let's talk about it. when you walked onto that set for the first time 
How was that? Was it more bigger than what you thought it was going to be? Or was it was like, mm, okay, well, this ain't much. Like, how was your response? How, how did you feel when you did It was that? overwhelming. It was huge. It was way bigger than what I expected it to be. Okay. I mean, I was nervous the whole night. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep the whole night. Okay. Um, mm. The car was picking me up at five in the morning <clears throat> for okay. the video. I couldn't sleep. I get in the car and I'm thinking in my mind, okay, an hour, hour and a half tops. Okay? okay. Bullshit. I got there and it was like, oh my God, they had makeup and hair and choreography. And it was like, what? This is like a freaking movie. Like, I, I, it didn't mm. dawn on me. Right, right. Because right. remember, what I had saw before that were not too many videos. I mean, there were videos, but there weren't that many videos right. back then. Plus, and now you're behind only, the scenes. And they were only, they were only three minutes. So who would have thought they were going to take so long to make if they were only three minutes? Yeah. In my yeah. mind, in my mind, they went and sang the song and it was over. That was it. Right. Yeah, right. I right. didn't think they were going to be all some of them costume are changes. And some of them I didn't think it would be all these costume changes, music, uh, makeup, yeah. stylist, yeah. choreography. Yeah. You know, it was just crazy. Between, between the time, how long it was it be, by the time you finished the shoot and it actually got released? But how long was that that time frame? Do you remember? Uh, they had to re-edit it. Okay. So I think it got Why, released you, like a month later, huh? Why? Because you were too much in the video. I was in the video. Well, this is the story that that I was told. I was told by uh, Andy and Sal that Caroline and Sunshine were upset because I was in the video too much. Mm, okay. This is the story I was okay. told. And so this is why, so this is the reason why the first half of the video doesn't even show you. It shows you, but it doesn't show me singing lead. Right, that's what I meant to say. It doesn't show you singing. Right. It doesn't so show me voice. lead. I only sing lead starting in the second verse on right. the video. And let me, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And you and I, we spoke about this before. Do you know that that actually increased... Um, that actually helped you um, oh absolutely in, in, yeah because yeah. people were wondering who sang the lead right right and i'm gonna tell you let me tell you a technique they do in movies you ever watch a movie check this out you ever watch a movie a movie starts right and mm -hmm. let's say it takes place in the in the jungle and right. it's dark it's dark you can hear people going through the bushes you can see the silhouettes you can hear the thing you can but you know what happens and they do that for a while and sometimes you're like, damn, I can't see what that, what they're doing. You know what that does? It mm -hmm. glues you into the scene and it waits mm -hmm. to see who, what's this about? And, and it's a, it's a tech, it's a Hollywood technique. Right. And then without knowing it, that's what they did. They created that anticipation to find out, yo, who the hell is that that sings it? And people were probably even guessing. I bet you it was that one. It sounds like it was that one. And sure enough, when you, when the right. shot finally came in, it worked so much in your favor. You know, I remember when you right. told me that. I mean, listen, I disclaimer, laughed, so like, disclaimer, <laughs> disclaimer. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's true what they said, but yeah, that is yeah. what they told me. You That's get what, what I'm saying? That's what you were told. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was told. And, yeah. and no, that you're absolutely correct with that. I'm going to tell you why. Because the greatest hits cover girls album Everybody's facing the camera except me. They have me in a corner, sideways, yeah. looking sideways. Yeah, yeah. Now, but what, that's but what, what everybody that knows everybody, me as well. Yeah, but everybody looks for you there, and everybody finds you. Yeah, that doesn't matter. It makes me yeah. noticeable because I'm the only one not facing forward. It's yeah, almost yeah. like I'm the lead singer because I'm looking this way and everybody else is facing forward because they're the background singers. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, so funny because had I been had had that been had that been the, the with the label, had I been down with the label and I knew that that was their intentions, I could have showed them so many more ways <laughs> of of uh, you know making you less noticeable. Even though it was hard because yeah, a lot of charisma. It was a lot about you. That, but the that thing is, out. the thing but, is, trying to make me look less noticeable made me look more noticeable. That's right, what I'm exactly I'm right. And what, right, right. What they do, what they did was wrong. They would have been better off 
putting you dead center, you know, or, you know, off to the side a little bit, have every, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's so funny, man. That is funny. Oh, Let me ask you something. You know, Between- it was just hysterical to me. But not only that, <clears throat> subconsciously, not only did they have me looking to the side, they had me in the corner, like I was punished. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So it's hysterical <laughs> to me. You were, you were you know? punished. You just didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I knew, I knew it. But I'm saying. Hey, hey look. <laughs> let me ask you a question. From the time Show Me was released, okay? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What was the span between the release of Show Me and the release of the video? Do you remember? The release of Show. Well, I think. Um, I think it was like it wasn't long. I think it was like three months because right away we did the video. Right. Three months is still a little bit of time. That's still a little Not bit back of time. then it wasn't. Three months was not a lot of time back then. To well, release a I song mean, and do a video? Not at all. No, no, I mean with the with that with the gap. With that gap. But did but you But you see know the- what? I'm saying release the song, but now that I'm thinking about it, no. The song was playing on the radio, but it wasn't it, there wasn't a record yet. You get what I'm saying? Oh, was, okay, I got you. Okay. It wasn't pressed yet. And it was playing right, on the okay, radio. Okay, I got you. That's weird. You know that's <laughs> odd, right? You huh? know that's weird, right? That's weird. And it was pressed and it was playing? Yeah. Yeah. It was playing in the clubs already and it wasn't pressed. Yeah, the clubs is okay. But when you put it on the radio, uh, those records. It was a new radio station. They were grabbing what they they wanted it to be a dance station. And they were grabbing what they wanted the sound to be for that radio station. You know? Mm, okay, I got you. I got you. So yeah. that's how that happened. But but what I'm saying is that technically, you know, a lot of the labels, you know. If you're gonna put something, especially on radio, you want to at least have the stuff prepared, ready. You want to, you want to at least have it, you know, semi-distributed. You know, where people can can at least find it. You know what I mean? But all right, so let me I, ask I you this. <clears throat> back then, <clears throat> I think people thought get it on the radio, you'll get the sales if you get it on the radio. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, the sales yeah, will I mean, come if you get it on the radio. Yeah, and I'll I mean, tell you something. Good. It actually worked because everybody was like, where can I, everybody was trying to find the song and they couldn't find yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So there was an anticipation but, for the song. Yeah, no, it was, it was. I mean, they played a real, it was a tight game. It was a tight game, but you know, technically a lot of times you don't do that because right. sometimes because of the amount of material that gets put out, it's very easy for people to be dis, you know, detracted, especially if you're right. shooting for record sales. But you know, right. I hear what they were doing and you know, it worked. Hey, listen, nonetheless, it worked. There's really no set rules. It's just sometimes when people do certain things, it's like, hmm, that's kind of outside the box. But it worked. Mm-hmm. It worked. <laughs> Did you see a difference in the excitement and in the interest of your group once the video came out? Did you see a difference? Can oh, absolutely. What- absolutely. People recognized is- me right away after that video was right. released. Anywhere I went, yeah. people recognized me. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Recognize me right away. Yeah. Yep. And that's that is so important. That was so important back then. Mm-hmm. And that is so important right now. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. But um do you think right now, do you all right? We see people putting out, especially with freestyle. Our mm-hmm. freestyle people love to release music and I, I praise them for it. Release. Right. Release right. 20 songs a week if you can. Release music right but what do you think about anyone who has or is releasing videos to these songs now today good move what? waste of time what great move that's what i told you cynthia did it listen <clears throat> as far as i'm concerned great move because that i knew if she had no videos right so why not everybody knows these songs they're classic why right. not release videos for them right now? Right. Right. I thought it was genius. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> especially with the, with the fact that. And she looks great. So why not? It, right. Especially with the fact that we have now so much distribution. Think about this right now. Think about if Show Me was first put out. They did mm-hmm. a video. Now, people didn't have to sit in their house and wait to see it to pop up on VH1. People don't have to wait to see it, you know, pop up on MTV or whatever. Now it could be sent direct to them, be sent direct to their phone, be sent right back, right to their page. They can search (laughs) it anywhere, anytime it's there. Think about that. For some reason, for some reason, 
The artists do not realize the impact that the videos, are. if you're putting out new material, if you're putting out new material, I don't think any, I don't think any video can screw up a song. Well, I, I want to ask you video. something. I want to ask you something. What do you think about artists putting out videos for classic songs? What do you think about that? I like the idea. I like the idea. Okay. I think it's important. And you know what? This is this is the way I look at it too. Okay. This is the way I look mm -hmm. at it. Um, you're gonna have like right now. It will seem odd. It's gonna be. It's gonna seem odd. I'll tell you why. So, if an artist is putting out a video to a classic song, okay, mm -hmm. and it was a hit record, right? Mm -hmm. Um, everybody, you know, you're gonna have people gonna talk shit. Oh man, you're putting an old record out with some new images. Right, okay, they're gonna say shit now. But that's the people who know the deal. What we're looking for with the freestyle genre is longevity. We want to expand into people who don't know, who are not familiar with who Cynthia is or knew her song. Mm -hmm. They're learning about mm -hmm. it now. And guess what? Now when they learn about the song, they also see a video. So they're not going right. to step to the situation with that prejudgment. You know what I mean? They're right. going to they're gonna step to it with open arms. They're going to be, oh man, I love this song. And yo, so that's the girl. Oh my God. And what's the beauty about it too? I'll tell you, you want to hear the beauty? We hear the real bright side of this. When they go to see her shows, she basically looks just like her video. Right. It's, and, and not Unlike only that, the video, the video is modernized. It's modernized, yeah. You know me, you know, from back in the day. So yeah. 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 Sometimes I put artists, I send artists out and I send them to a, a promoter and they do a show and the promoter never really tracked them down, really did their homework. And when they'll call me, hey, it was a good show, man. They, they, that, that artist age, man, looks so different. Game with, I'm like, bro, you're talking about 30 years. What do you expect? That artist to come right off the video to look just like the video? Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, really, right. it's crazy, you know? You yeah, know, they have yeah. to, you know, it, it, it's part of it, but... I mean, you know, do they I look have, just like their high school picture? They you don't, know what I'm saying? They don't. Exactly. Right. They don't, you know? That's what they have to it's realize. Crazy. You don't look like your high school picture. Don't expect anybody else to look like their yeah. high school picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I think, honestly, as easy, because let me tell you something, recording videos now basically became just as easy as recording songs. Mm -hmm. It really... You know what? Videos today could end up being a one-day job. And right. now when they cost hundreds of thousands of dollars at one point, now cost zero. You could do it for zero. Everybody has a phone. They could do it with their phone or they could do it with their camera. But I personally feel that every freaking song, every freaking song should have a video attached. Right. In freestyle. I'm concerned with the freestyle genre. I don't care about anybody else. My goal is helping the freestyle genre. And this is right. one of the observations that I have. I feel that, you know, listen, it's always going to be um, subjective. Some people are like them, some people are not. So right. what? Mm -hmm. Put it out. Because you know what? In 10 years, people, in 10 years, people will look back at that video um, mm -hmm. with, I remember, I remember one of the songs. You know, you know, song, <clears throat> not to, not to change something. Yeah. Now, I'm not changing something, but you know which song I think they should have done a video for? What? That new Christmas song that Judy did with yeah. KL and George mm -hmm. and uh, what? What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know who else. Yeah. And Suave, Suave. Suave, right, okay. <laughs> don't you think there yeah. should have been a video for that? Maybe they could still have, they still have time. Maybe I think that would be a Christmas. great video. That'd almost be yeah. like the rap pack, you know, with Liza Minnelli yeah. with them. You know what I'm saying? Like that whole Yeah, room. yeah. They could have yeah, done I think that was. Oh. And they could have done it yeah. all on stage. It didn't have to be, you know, it could have been them just performing on stage, but a dope video of them performing on stage. <laughs> like a timeless right. video. Right. But something so like you, that so, to me needs a video. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So so you see, we get a lot of artists now, right, that will go mm -hmm. into a studio. And, you know, back in the days, you went to a studio, you recorded whatever, let's say eight, ten tracks, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might pick, there might be three of those records might become videos. Three of those right. singles might become, that's pretty average. Some get less mm -hmm. depending on what the, because they were a big investment, you know? Right. Back in those days, if the investment made sense, 
do you think there would have been more videos per album? You think people would have put out, you think it would have made sense for them to keep spitting out videos with these records? I think back then they should, was, have spit, they should have done a video for every record. Every record. Every I record agree. that they put out, they should have done a video. Like, I agree. Uh, people think we have a video for Inside Outside. We really don't. That's a, that's a live performance. Right. Right. But that's good enough, believe it or not. That was good enough. Right. You but know, I think there should have been a video. I think there should have been. I think there should have been a real video for "Because of You." Because of You was a huge record. Right, right. Should have been a real video for that. Should have been but a you real. Know what? Video this is, this is the deal. What I like about the CoverGirl stuff is that all the stories are different. The videos are different. Spring right. Love doesn't. Spring. Uh, 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 Spring Love doesn't look like Promise Me. Promise Me doesn't look like We Can't Go Wrong. You know, uh, Show Me doesn't look like Inside Outside. That the, right. none of them look like because of you. I love the variety. Okay. I personally wouldn't change a thing. I love the variety. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of other songs that right. should have been should have been videos. I think. Yeah. But I could understand the theory. I could understand not only that the fact that the you know there was a lot of shit going on with the group, you know, which mm -hmm. you know which made instability, which made it made no sense for them to try to go out there and make more videos. It's like okay, <laughs> you're changing. Well, I, don't think, I think they didn't make the video and, and the reason why we had those type of videos because they didn't want to pay the money. Right. Well, because it was a lot of Basically, money. Basically, they got that because of you for free. Basically, yeah. Inside Outside was for free. You get what I'm right. saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. So, all right. So today, so, that, so, so today, so we have a lot of new managers and we have people, you know, like let's say by like Dee Marie, I don't know if she's on here today, but anyway, uh, so she has a flock of artists that she's developing, right? You know, how often should she be focusing on putting these videos out? What do you think? I think they should do a video for every song they put out, because every nowadays second. you can do a video so cheap. Yeah, yeah. So why not put not a video only, out that you put out? Not only that, you know what people are doing, right? You know how many times? I think just this week mm -hmm. alone, I've got like three demos that came in my inbox and all they are is mp3 links or their links to the soundcloud okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it takes a lot for me because i get so many it takes a lot for me to sit there click on the link there's a good chance the phone's gonna ring or i'm gonna be disturbed something's gonna go down and i'm gonna move on you know if like you know what i'm saying just because i get so many of them there's really nothing mm -hmm. special however those mm -hmm. few that i have gotten a video for um, even if it's a YouTube and see a lot of people love the YouTube links because they know they're not downloading this into their system. So it's free of any viruses, you know, but when people put out a video, I'll watch a video. I'll watch a video. If you send me, you know, 10 MP3s and one YouTube link, I'm going to click on that YouTube link first. Right. Absolutely. Yep. You know, be, I would yeah. too. you know, you know, I'm going to click on that YouTube now if it's a YouTube link and then all it is is like the album cover or, you know, I'm going to listen to the first couple songs. If I like it, fine. I'm most likely and then I'll probably click off, you know, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. it depends. It, you know, like, again, I support the genre, but I'm not going to like every song. Doesn't mean I'm going to tell you to quit. I'm going to tell you, oh, do it right. again. Right. Try it again, you know. But, um, but yeah, you know, I feel if, if people... Um, if if people release it, they're taking the time to release these songs mm -hmm. and put in a video. Not only that, the videos help the artists so much mm -hmm. because they make them they make them rec recognized and they show them. They show them in a different light. They show the you know the human side of them, not just a still picture. You know, real cool. You know, fly still picture. Now you're looking at um, you're looking at these videos. You know, and I, I think it does it does it does great for an artist's career. And it's something it's great for them to check it out to have it. You know? Mm -hmm. These things hit the um these um these videos hit the internet. <clears throat> they hit the, the internet, next thing you know, they're 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 all over the place. You right. Know? Right. But um uh, we got a few people on. I don't know if anybody has any questions or if anybody wants to chime in. Uh, into this topic, um, uh, freestyle music videos. 
if they're still important for this particular genre. <laughs> if you do, if you if you do, please chime in. Um, but uh, yeah, and now you know, like I was saying before, you know, with the with the whole distribution. I mean, come on. I mean, it's everywhere. Right. You know? It's not like it's not like it was before. Um, where people would create these videos and have nowhere to put it, you know? Mm -hmm. Remember, I did a video with Tone. Right. You know, I produced that, I produced that video. And, um, and at that time, it was like, we had no place to put it, you know? Not only that, I'm sure it was expensive at that time to do that video. I, well, we paid $3,000 and asked for a ton of favors. And yeah, that's what I'm So it was expensive back then. Yeah. The three thousand dollars really, because we did it on film. See, that was what was interesting, and that was something that I wanted to do. I didn't want it to do. I didn't want to do it on video. We could have, we could have done yeah. it. It was really, really. It was still, you know, digital really wasn't that popular yet, but you could still, you could make it happen. Um, mm -hmm. But we wanted to do it. We could have done it on like Betamax, like what they used to do the right. news. Uh, we had that right. opportunity, but but this one we did on a sixteen millimeter. Um, and what was so crazy is that we spent like a whole day uh, filming and the, at the end, the film got exposed. That's why it cost us three grand. Wow. Because we had to do it. We, we, yeah, we had to do it again. <laughs> that is nuts. <laughs> However, then again, also, man, the, the people <laughs> behind could have robbed us. I don't know. They could have robbed us, you know? No, no, no. Listen, no. videos were expensive back then. They were freaking expensive. Yeah. Nowadays, you take your phone, you can make a damn movie let alone a yeah. video, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you have a great idea, I say go for it. Yeah. And make your videos. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I hope more people will, uh, I hope more people will uh, look into it. You know, the, the I, I mean, even now still, you know, I watch, I I, I tend to go on, I, I look at, I watch a lot of videos. You got young kids, man. Young kids that, that can really do, you know, you can go online and, find people that are really creative man for a couple hundred bucks if you want to pay you know for a few hundred bucks you can get somebody to use after effects and really do some really cool work for you you know right. so, so the opportunities are there you know mm -hmm. and um like your stuff i would love to i would like like to take the time and one day you know you and i we got so much going on right now it's hard to break away but mm -hmm. we spoke about this we we've we've really i mean listen, i have my that. ideas of what i want to do yeah and yeah. um but you got a ton of videos too. You have but a ton, I have of, a ton videos. of videos. I have, but I have yeah. a ton of songs. Yeah. Yep. I don't have so videos. Not, oh yeah, no, I've always, not, yeah, I've always, we've always talked about that. But yeah, yeah. Um, right now, it's like I see so many new things, and I have so many new ideas and things. I you know. know? Yeah. And I'm glad yeah. I didn't do it, and I'm glad yeah. that you know I'm, I waited to do it. But not only that, we waited and uh, technology has improved so much. Right, that's so what we I'm can saying. Really... I have so many great yeah. ideas. Yeah, but I would like to take a, I would like to take a month. I would like to take a month off and say, hey, this is what we're gonna do for the month. Yeah, not Only only that, we have great four. camera equipment, we have great lighting. Yeah. We yeah, have we have it all. And, yeah. yeah, and a lot of that stuff, and a lot of that stuff I don't even need anymore. That's how much technology has moved forward. Right, isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. Spent all that money now. <laughs> I know, I know. I spent, I spent a ton of money, you know. That's and I won't get rid of them. I won't, I won't sell it. No, you, anything. I love this stuff. You can't get rid of it. Come on. <laughs> but um, but uh, you know, you know, that's a that you know, that's a big thing. I, I hope a lot of these people who have uh these labels, these independent labels on freestyle. This is how we can help the genre. Not everybody's doing this. They're not doing it on hip hop and stuff. They're filming a lot. They're filming a lot. They're doing this stuff. But mm -hmm. you know, um. But go in there and and you know put something out or film the film the process of you recording. That's right. actually dope. Also, I think that's awesome when people film do that. Film the process. Film the process of you. You don't need you don't need professional actors. You know, maybe you want to do one video that you. I had situations where I wish we would have filmed the process. Yeah. When right. I did Spring Love, I wish we would have filmed the process. Why was that? Listen, I just thought they were just so dope. Okay. They were dope producers. Like it was it was like a really professional situation. And they were yeah. just so freaking talented. And right. our vibe was just so incredible, the three of us, you know? Yeah. 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 
You know, um, so that was, was Rainy on... Davis and Pete Warner, and and our vibe was just dynamite together. Right. Who was so it? Who put the who, who put the video crew together? Did they put it, put it together? Were they? Did they have a part of that? No, they no, they they no no. I said I wish we would have recorded us. Oh, okay, okay. You know, video. No, I didn't know if, if Pete. I didn't know if Pete and Rainy had any input in the video at all. No, no, not at okay. all. Oh. No. Okay. Yeah, I see. I with Su with little Susie, right? So I was. I came in for take me in your arms. I came in all the way at the end. I didn't make it. I didn't make it for the for the main shoot. Um, uh, when I fall in love. When I fall in love, the high. I was there I for the whole stuff. shoot. Actually, actually, I pitched an idea for that shoot. Uh -huh. I wanted to do. I wanted to. I wanted to produce that shoot. Yeah. Um, was I happy with, with? I wasn't too crazy about what they did. It came out beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I had a totally different vision. Like my vision was upside down, but I had no credentials. Right. I had no credentials, so I was turned down uh, by the label. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, I, well, that's and, fine. and I was willing, and I was willing to do it for free. All I wanted them to do was cover my crew. You know, I had my camera people, I had everything. I would have took care of everything. And, uh, um, and then turn the beat around. <clears throat> I was for that whole shoot with Lil Susie. Anybody who ever seen that video, check it out. That was actually directed by Louis Guzman, the actor. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Louis, uh, he had directed that. And, um, the, one of the guys that was behind it was Colonel Abrams. He was behind. He like brought a lot of people, like a lot of the. Um, he played a role in, in a lot of, you know, putting a lot of the pieces together. If you ever look at that video, you'll see on stage, you'll see Mickey Garcia and uh, Suzanne's mo mother playing the bass, and <laughs> you know we had Ernest Thomas there. Uh, the only cool. I, the only input I had on that one was uh, I got the dancers, um, mm -hmm. and I got the um, and I got a. Uh, the 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 title of the song the the choice of the song was mine. I had okay. chose to do Such a turn the beat song. around. Such yeah, I, love, I always I, I grew up I grew up loving that song. I think she rocked it. Right. The only thing is that it was, she did. It was, she it, absolutely did. Yeah, yeah I had always it. wanted her to it. perform that song with S.A.L. She doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't like that video because she said it looks too dark. I'm like, well, that's what it, it's a nightclub. I said it was right. perfect. I said you were you were bright right. enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. I think but, that um, would have been a dope SAL song, you know, for us to perform. Turn the beat around. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been great for the SAL show. Yeah, yeah, that probably would be right? cool. I kind, yeah. I kind of like that you guys do, you know, all original stuff though. You know. I know, but it was I just like... such a lively song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, everybody yeah. knows that song, so it would have been great for the show. Mm, okay, I see what you're saying. You know, when we were adding hmm. more and more songs, because we weren't doing right. our regular shows, we were doing an SAL right. show. So basically, right. yeah. all we needed was our biggest hits, and then add right. them, add in songs that work for for the three of us. That's what I think yeah. we should have. I mean, but you know. Well, remember, remember the original right? idea was to use me and the girls. Remember, that was the original idea. Right. Right, which is still well, a great song. And um, yeah. <clears throat> I think... I think that's another project I would want to get into. Yeah. I yeah. would want to get a girl group to sing that, sing that song. Yeah. I think it would be So dope. you see, so you see, you know, which is another thing, you know, going back to the videos now, you know, also I think the performances, the videotaping of the performances, sometimes it's an inconvenience, it's a, it's a little difficult. Uh, so, I mean, in my position, sometimes I can only get you from behind, you know, mm -hmm. when I'm filming. Because mm -hmm. I'm behind you, I'm I'm at the sound. If the sound is there, you know. Yeah. Uh, but anybody yeah. also who's who's recording uh, live performances, you know, record these live performances and put them up, put them up. Right. You know, we have we have to be visual, and we have mm -hmm. the opportunity right now. And right. there's and there's so many. There's honestly there's hundreds of of new songs over the last ten years in freestyle. Right. Maybe even more than that. Maybe right. into the thousands. Who knows? Exactly. Um, you know, a lot of these songs should be, you know, looked into, you know, and sometimes people can get creative. They don't have to, if they don't want to, they could do a, a, a shoot of them on the stage. They could do a shoot of them just going somewhere. They could do a shoot. They could do an animated shoot. If they right. need people that do eye animation. There's a lot of things that people can do, you know, mm -hmm. but I really want to encourage the genre and the producers and the artists behind it to start mm -hmm. looking at your catalog. Look at your catalog and, and start filming stuff 
um, if you have performances, uh, put those things. You, every single song that you have should have something behind it if you, because you put it out. A lot of people that have the old stuff, the older stuff, if you have the time and you want to go in, is that a lot of times people are way ahead and doing other things. But if you have the time and you feel you know, inspired, go in and, and shoot some of those songs, some of those big records that don't have a video. You know, do it justice, though. See, with those <laughs> songs, though, I think it's important to do it justice because the right. records were so big. You know, the records were so big, you really want the video production to uh, to be on point. You know what I mean? Right. So, um, but if you're just releasing a new song, um, I pretty much think there's no rules. Right. I think there's no rules. I think you could pretty much go in and uh, and do whatever it is that you want to do. You know, Absolutely. but uh, I mean, there's so much distribution. I mean, yeah, why so not? So much do distribution. It? Yeah. You know what? Yeah, you does, know. does Trinia have videos? Shoot, I don't know. And you know, she's so energetic on stage. Right. She would do a great job if she did. If she has no videos and she does videos, I'm sure. Those songs I'm now, sure she, some, she would do an awesome job. I'm sure she has some of her performances. I don't know if she has. Actually... I mean, video videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music I'm sure there's so. performance videos. I'm talking about. Does yeah. she have any videos of you know? I don't know. She doesn't. I don't think Debbie Deb has. I right? don't think. Yeah, but you know how energetic Trinier is still. Yeah. She would be awesome if she did a video. Yeah. yeah. She should really uh, think about. You know, there's a lot of artists. There's a lot yeah. of artists that do yeah. not have videos. You right. Know? They, they don't have videos, especially if they released any new songs. And like every artist has tried, okay, start from there. You think about those classic songs. If Trinia has no videos for those classic songs, listen, she still looks great. Yeah. She moves on stage. She's got the moves. Right. I would, I would, if right. she doesn't have any, I would do them if I were her. Mm. You know? Yeah. Look at Suave. Yeah. Does Suave have videos? I don't know. He's a good looking kid. If he. Yeah. If he has no videos, he should do some videos. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm you know? saying. There's a lot of them. There's, there's a lot of the yeah. artists out there. I mean, we can go, we can create a whole list of people that do not have videos. Right. And they should all be, and especially if they're putting out new material. That's the thing. Start with the new material. Right. If you don't have the new material and you have no intentions and you got the time and you're inspired and you could do a good job because you know, that's the only thing. If you're going to touch the classics, you really got to go in the right way right don't go in there and chump don't please don't chump a good song with a poor video don't do that now right that i would you know that i would that would be taboo really really think it out and technology is there so you know we can really do better than what the way what they were doing in the 80s when it comes to technology but make mm -hmm. sure your story is tight make sure you know make sure you got good editors that you know how to cut and you know how to do you know do things the right way um, and I think a dope story behind these songs, even if you're not performing, maybe you're just telling the story. Maybe it's you going through the motions while the song is playing, uh, right. you know, and if you have the time, this is a great goal for any of these artists that have big records out there. You're really not doing much else. You're just kind of going from show to show. Consider taking those projects on. Go in. Mm -hmm. uh, forget mm -hmm. about what people say. People talk shit. I've seen people, you know, say stuff about that. Forget that. Leave that alone. And I was saying before, I remember one time, I forgot which which song I think most it was when people, most of the people who talk shit ain't got nothing going on in their own life. Yeah, you think yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. No, everybody and everybody knows that. It's just I can understand it messes with people. But you know what's so funny? Do you remember? I think one of um, L. Cool J's last records that he put out was um, I think it was going back to Cali, right? Wasn't that like his mm -hmm. one of his last records? I think so. Yeah. Right. And I remember, check this out. I remember he had taken a long gap, almost to the point like he wasn't putting out any more music for a long time. Next mm -hmm. thing you know, he put, I'm going back to Cali. Mm -hmm. And I remember hearing that. And I was always an LL fan. Huge, huge, huge. And I wasn't feeling it. Like, I, I don't know. I was like, I don't know, bro. You, you, you know, you're coming, but you haven't been out for all these years. You're coming out. I don't know how people are going to receive that song, da, da, da. And it didn't do that well. It, you know, people liked it, but it didn't, it didn't do anything close to what it did back in the days. But what happened was now you look at it right now, like if you put it on right now, it's considered one of his records. It meshed yeah. itself <clears throat> into, right. into, his, into his catalog. It meshed itself right. into that. 
you know, yeah. after all so, so many years. So anybody who who's down with him, who's just getting down with him now and kind of getting a feel for you know, for him, that, that record is not a new, you know, that's going to mesh in with every other record. Now, I love that record now. I think about it like that. I'm like, yeah, it's a dope record. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I wasn't feeling it back then, but I did now, you know. Right. But, um, but yeah, you know, so, you know, but um, I think this was a really good topic. Let, let me let me listen to this message real quick. Okay. What's up, guys? What's going on? I'm sitting there listening to you guys. I see that Lizette Melendez has a nice song called Rise. And she did a great job on that video, man. Oh, my God. I said, wow, this is a nice freestyle song. Good. Have you guys checked it out yet? I think it came out like a year ago. Um, absolutely. Yeah, actually, did. We did see it. Um, our yeah. friend Zeke actually plays her tormentor <laughs> in the video yeah. and yeah, those yeah. are Zeke and Kathy's children in the video. Yeah, yeah. And also yeah, you look we saw at, it right when look... it first came out, Zeke sent it to yeah. us. Great video yeah. and awesome job, Zeke. Zeke, oh, awesome you, job. Hey, hey uh, uh, um, Tom, I'll give you a little trivia too. If you look really good at that video, if you look at Zeke's, uh, he, again, he plays the husband, uh, the tormenting husband, um, if you look at his wrist, he's actually wearing a freestyle against Phony's wristband in that video. Oh my God, Whoa. yes, that's right. How that's dope is right. that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so he, he's definitely representing Phonyism. But yeah, good idea, good observation. Great idea, very, yes. Very important. Yes. She came out, she put a new record. Put that shit out, man. Put that shit Absolutely. out. I don't know, I didn't follow Absolutely. it, so I don't know, I don't know what it did, but no matter what, the record is going to play a role in her catalog. And that I was, yeah, I was going to say the same play. thing. It's going to be a part of her catalog. It, that's it. It's going to be, it's going to be a, an important part. And nobody at that time is going to, you know, play as far as, you know, oh, when this came out, or oh, was this, you know, no, it's going right. to become a part of what she did. So that's, that's great. Let's hear this other one. I actually, I did not know that, man. I thought that was real, her, her real husband's and the kids sitting on the couch. Look like the look like Zeke. Look like the the father. So I thought those are real kids and real husband. Yeah, that's no, the funny. Kids, <laughs> the kids are Zeke's kids. Yeah, the kids. Are yeah, Zeke's Zeke kids. and Kathy's children. Zeke and yeah, Kathy's yeah. children. Yes. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So um, but yeah, that was a good, you know, and you know, in you know, I don't know what it took to, for her to put that together, but she did it. She did it, and you know it should be supported. And I want, I, want, I like to see more people do it. More right. people should do it. And you know what? Honestly, that video shouldn't have. I watched the video. That video, she should have. It probably, I'm sure, it didn't cost her that much because of technology. I mean, really, I could do a video like that. You know, and it's not downplaying it because technology. So you could probably do a video like that for maybe two grand, fifteen hundred bucks. I could do it. Um, looking at because I, I could tell by by the, the, the editing and what, it's really inexpensive. So anybody out there who thinks that they need all this money to put together a video for their music, you don't, you really don't. Your, if you have an iPhone, they take incredible pictures. $500, you could get yourself a nice Canon, beautiful pictures. You could get, you could freaking edit on pretty much anything. You can do iMovie, which is for free. You can get a Sony Vegas. <laughs> You know, you got people that you can give them a few hundred bucks and they sit down and cut the stuff for you. You know, you, babe, you can do babe, it. Babe, babe, well, is this where yeah. I say, is this where I say nerd? Yeah. Noob, noob. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but you know, I'm just letting people know that, you know, it doesn't, you know, cause that's the first thing I could think people saying. Remember, everybody's gonna judge themselves. They're gonna put, yeah, Michael Jackson used to spend a million dollars on his videos. Yeah, you know, Michael didn't have to do that now. If Michael was around, he he don't have to spend a million dollars on a video anymore. Right. <laughs> he probably would, but you know, it's it's it that's, have to. it's it's so accessible now. <clears throat> However, it does take work. And right. That's where the challenge is. It does take work. Mm -hmm. You have to dedicate. I've been behind the scenes of a video. I've done storyboards in the past. I know if you want to do it the right way, there is a process to do it. Um, and that's where you're going to pay. You're going to pay in sweat equity. You're going to pay in the amount of work it takes to put it together. But I'll tell you one thing, you put it together the right way. Um, you can come with a, a, an incredible product that you will have for forever. 
forever. When you're gone, that product will still be floating on the internet. So I think it's a great, great investment. Anybody who's putting out new records from this point on, do not put a record out if you don't have some kind of video attached to it. Forget about letting us hear your MP3 or letting us hear your SoundCloud. We don't want to hear that shit no more. I don't want to say, send me a video, man. Let me see what you did with the video. Yo, make yeah. it look dope. But anyway, yep. that's about it, guys. I'm, I'm done. You got any last wow, words? Wow, I can't believe it's been an hour. We just yeah. got chit chatting and wow, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, but hopefully everybody got some good uh, information from this. Yes. You know, from your know, people. It's especially a great topic. You, great you, topic. Great topic, yeah, babe. Been, yeah, you know, you were there. You did some of the biggest videos of freestyle. So you know the importance. You know, I've seen okay. it. I've been behind the scenes on a lot of stuff. I've seen, uh -huh. I know what it can do. So you guys are getting information from people who are doing it, not people who, well, this is what maybe what you can do, you know? Um, so, uh, and my advice would be to anybody is go out there, record your record, take your record, grab a camera, go out there, shoot some f footage, man. Shoot your, you know, shoot, even if you're shooting the footage of you producing the record, that's incredible. It's incredible, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyway, all right, guys, that is it for tonight. Uh, until tomorrow, be cool, stay safe out there, and peace out. Bye.